45. Welcome back to Rising. Johnson C. Smith University hosted its annual Martin Luther King Jr. Breakfast on Thursday with Charlotte's first black mayor as the guest speaker. The annual breakfast features changemakers and civil rights activists who have played a role in continuing Dr. King's work. Dear Nisa talked with exclusively with Harvey Gantz about continuing Dr. King's legacy today and the impact it could have on youth. We shall Dozens of Johnson C. Smith University students and faculty gathered Thursday for the annual Martin Luther King Jr. Voices of Freedom Breakfast. The event honors Dr. King and his legacy while also striving to continue his work. If you desire to do so, uh, you can pursue it with the Lord's grace. This year, Harvey Gantt spoke to students and faculty. As Charlotte's first black mayor and also the first black student to attend Clemson University, Gantt has long been a trailblazer. The 81-year-old vividly remembers Dr. King's I Have a Dream speech and hopes students today will continue to fulfill King's dream. No matter how young they are, whether they're freshmen, seniors, or graduate students, that there is a responsibility to care about community and try to build a better community. He also talked to me about youth gun violence here in Charlotte. Youth violence is very much on the minds of a lot of people. It comes just days after a 17-year-old was killed on his walk home from Geringer High School. To the young people, what we have to hope is that they will begin to communicate better and settle their problems without deadly force. His words of wisdom already resonating with some in the audience. I'm a firm believer of what he was also saying up there about the wisdom of the elders so that way it can guide and mold the young people to be able to do the right thing. Again, leaving the message that everyone plays a role in creating change. Everybody has got a responsibility to do something. That's the way I looked at it when I was young and I want them to do the same. Dear Nisa Jefferson, WCCB News.